All right, in this video, we're looking at DaVinci Resolve 17, and there's three different features that are really cool, dramatically improve any footage right off the bat. Check it out. Now, DaVinci Resolve has been around, around for a while, but the version 17, which is actually in public beta, brings a huge amount of ease to creating a lot of these different effects. And so it makes it much easier for somebody to just jump in and do these things without having to slog through hours of uh, tutorials. You can actually achieve some pretty cool results right off the bat. I took some footage and basically went through and improved it. I found some cool features I'll show you and how it improved the footage. First off, we're talking transitions and these are cool. Check it out. It's a wild The next one is effect. I mean, there's, there's stuff like, like the binoculars right here that's a, bit, a little bit cheesy, but when you get past all that, there's some really cool things you can do with the effects. Check this out. But in general, I think the uh, overall outcome is to get as many creators as possible working together so that despite any changes politically or algorithm changes, updates, everybody gets supported. Everybody has something to sell. Other people, we're all buying kind of from each other, both with views, but also monetarily. Now the last thing I've got are the titles. And titles, are, uh, titles aren't hard to do, but getting some cool polish here and there with it being time consuming or using uh, editors you might not be used to. But what makes this really cool is the ease of use. Check out these titles right here. I'm gonna do a short clip and some different titles. Check it out. One person said that small time creators, medium sized creators should get together and collaborate in the same way. Because if you create that ecosystem, you're more likely to survive different downturns and so on. And you can support each other. That's what I like about YouTube in general. I think in general, I, you know, it's more collaborative and supportive than some other places like Facebook, which tend to be more competitive. Um, whereas YouTube tends to be more, again, collaborative. You have people who want to collaborate. And for the most part, if you're respectful, you can use other people's material with fair use, of course. Overall, of course, DaVinci Resolve has a huge amount of features and it takes a lot of time to really go through and, and use those effectively. But the thing of it is, with just a few clicks, you can improve existing footage right off the bat. And that's what's so fun about it. And then getting in and using some of the other stuff over time is fine. But not having to slog through a huge amount of tutorials right off the bat, for me, is a big win. So if you've got some existing footage and you want to play with it, I'd definitely uh, download DaVinci Resolve 17 and check out what it's got because it's a lot of fun to play with. If you found this helpful, give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.